Well, good morning from Mission Control Houston and welcome to today's International Space Station update. Joining us here inside of the Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas, the Johnson Space Center where the Orbit 2 team's on console right now, monitoring all of the different systems on board this orbiting laboratory. That team being led today by Flight Director Tony Sakachi, um, right now overlooking the activities of the Expedition 34 crew. The astronauts currently up on board the station, uh, back down to a three-person complement following the undocking and landing uh, yesterday of three of our crew members. Are, uh, so three crew members right now of Expedition 34, all the way on the left there, leading uh, as the commander is NASA astronaut Kevin Ford, currently on his second space flight, a veteran of one previous space shuttle mission. Uh, he is joined by Russian cosmonauts Alag Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin, uh, both on their very first flights, rookie space flyers, but uh, the three have been on board the International Space Station since uh, arriving back on October 25th. Well, they'll be continuing uh, as a three-person crew until about December when uh, their next three crew members will launch. But again, uh, last night saw the departure of uh, the former Expedition 33 crew members, uh, Expedition 33 Commander Sonny Williams, uh, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko and Japan aerospace exploration astronaut Aki Hoshide. Uh, they had a flawless undocking, uh, deorbit, and landing inside of their Soyuz uh, TMA 05M spacecraft as they uh, left the International Space Station uh, yesterday afternoon. They said a final farewell around 1:12 p.m. Central Time and uh, then went through a, a series of uh, hatch, seal, hatch seal and leak checks on board the International Space Station, also checking out their launch and entry suits, uh, also verifying all their seals uh, for integrity, and also uh, getting prepared to undock from the station, that undocking occurring at about 4.26 p.m. Central Time yesterday. Uh, following a, uh, a number of orbits, they then completed their 4-minute, 43-second deorbit burn at around 7.03 p.m. Central Time yesterday. Uh, finally landing in uh, the steppes of Kazakhstan at about 7.56 p.m. Central Time, bringing a close to 125 days on board the International Space Station, a total of uh, 127 days in space for these astronauts. Uh, you can see here, here's some video last night uh, from the snowy weather out in Kazakhstan where these astronauts touched down. Uh, Williams, who spent uh, 322 days in space on two separate space missions, now ranked sixth all-time in the U.S. endurance list and second all-time for females. Uh, veteran flyer Yuri Malenchenko has spent a total of 642 days in space, spanning across five different flights, putting him seventh on the all-time endurance list. Another major milestone to come out of uh, this ex this past expedition was between uh, Sonny Williams and Aki Hoshide, who completed three spacewalks, uh, replacing a component to help relay power from the space station solar arrays to its various systems, and also repairing an ammonia leak that cropped up on one of the station radiators. Sunny Williams, now with 50 hours and 40 minutes of spacewalk time, uh, holds the record for cumulative total spacewalking time by a female astronaut, and Aki Hoshide holding his own record for total time by a JAXA astronaut, standing at about 21 hours, 23 minutes. So with their departure down to a three-person crew for a couple of weeks, uh, today the crew woke up at about uh, 6 a.m. Central Time, getting a little bit of uh, extra sleeping time to uh, as they move into a day off. They were working uh, throughout much of the day yesterday in all of the undocking support activities. They'll resume their research and maintenance work on board the station on a limited basis tomorrow and then uh, move back into a full body of work starting on Wednesday.